We need to understand the difference between data and inference, or observations and deductions. Data means what we can actually observe, what we can sense, what we can see, hear, smell, taste, touch. Inference or deductions means how we make sense, how we explain those observations. Because you see, knowledge is never just about data. The human mind needs to look for patterns within the data to make sense of the data because the human mind is very limited in its working memory. And so we can't deal with the information overload of all the variations of data that bombard our senses. So we look for patterns and we form concepts and we, we form inferences. What, what do I mean by that? Let's take an example. Here we have some data. The data is that we have some footprints. Well, even that is actually an inference because really the data is we have some lines, some markings in the ground. Well, that's what this picture is meant to represent anyway. And we infer from the shape of those markings and the orientation of them that they are footprints and that they are footprints of a small animal of some sort. And then we have larger markings which we infer, which we deduce are markings, footprints from a larger animal. And then we see that in the center of the picture these footprints overlap one another's space. But you know, when a person looks at this, they will never stop at that. J just as, I mean, even for me to describe what I'm seeing, I'm already using inference. I wouldn't say there are lines with uh, four spokes coming from a central, I mean, goodness. No, you you would say, there are footprints. You're really making a pattern in your mind and using an um, inference. But you probably wouldn't even describe what I've just described about the footprints coming in from the left and footprints fr coming from the bottom of the picture and other foot and then them overlapping and footprints going off to the right. All of which already I'm using inference, of course, because, I mean, they might have been walking backwards. But you would probably say something like, well... There was a small animal walking along and a big animal came along and they had a bit of a fight or um, one chased the other and then the big animal ate the small animal. That, that might be what you, what you get out of it. Because your human mind makes sense of what you see there. But the problem is that that might be faulty. The sense that you make out of it, the inference you make out of it, might not be what really happened. There are other explanations that could be true. For example, it might be that there was a small animal walking along and a bigger animal came along and they played a bit and then the bigger animal, maybe the bigger animal was even the mother, and then picked up the smaller one and carried it off to bed. And there are other explanations that could be true as well. So the point is that while data might be indisputable, I say might because, I mean, you could even get someone who comes and carves those footprints there so that they were never footprints, they were just carvings and we tricked into thinking that they're footprints, so they, they might be a forgery. But generally, maybe we as scientists sort of accept, okay, data is likely to be accepted as indisputable. But inference, the explanation that you give for the data, the story you get from the data, is always disputable. Someone else will see it in a different light. And how do you know which of those explanations was the truth? If you want to use the word proof to mean something that you've experimented on or observed yourself, maybe, well, then you cannot prove what's happening there. And then if you only want to accept anything that's proved... I can assure you, you're going to know very little. So, you see, we do form knowledge, you know, we, we form some kind of explanation and knowledge of what happened there, but we would have to acknowledge that there is a chance that we're wrong, and we need some way to check the likelihood of how reasonable our knowledge would be. So the question then becomes, with data where we, we have to make inferences without being able to do an experiment. The question is more, how reasonable does this explanation seem in comparison to other explanations? 
rather than how can we prove it because you can't prove it. Similarly, you can look at this data over here and you can get the inference, the pattern from this that that says God is nowhere or from the exact same data you can say God is now here. And this can be seen over and over in the data that's available concerning origins. Depending how you look at the data, it can suggest that evolution happened or it can suggest that creation happened. And so our task is to see which of those interpretations is more reasonable.